what to do if your photo is blurry, you can fix it in Photoshop. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to sharpen a blurry image in Photoshop in a couple of simple steps. All these steps can be saved as an action, so that you could achieve the same effect faster in the future. And if you want to save time, the subscription on Envato Elements gives you access to millions of assets, including image enhancing actions. For example, this pack contains over 30 actions that you can use to quickly retouch the skin. They're powered by artificial intelligence and they will give you professional results every time. If you're interested, I've put a link in the description for you. Before we get started, you have to know one thing. Sharpening is about enhancing the details, not about creating them out of nothing. So if your whole photo is as blurry as the back of the head and neck in this image, then this method will not work. However, if it's slightly out of focus, like the face here, then it will be perfect for you. Let's get started now. Open your image in Photoshop. Open the Actions panel and create a new action. Duplicate the background layer with Ctrl J and hide it. This copy will allow us to quickly compare the versions. Come back to the background layer and duplicate it again. Right-click it and select Convert to Smart Object. Thanks to it, you'll be able to adjust the filters after adding them. Name this layer Basic Sharpening. Go to Filter, Sharpen, Smart Sharpen. This filter adds a sharpening effect by increasing contrast of the edges. Drag the sliders until the edges start glowing, then decrease the effect slightly to find that perfect spot. Because sharpening accentuates the noise as well, use the Reduce Noise slider to make this effect less noticeable. You can pause the action now and compare our current result to the original. It's already visibly sharpened, but we can make it even better. Continue recording and duplicate the basic sharpening layer. Right-click and select Clear Smart Filters. Name this layer Detail Sharpening. Change the blend mode of this layer to Overlay. The colors will appear burned out, but this is temporary. Go to Filter, Other, High pass. Adjust the radius to see only subtly white lines, no other colors. If you compare the results now, the difference is quite striking. But we can do one more thing. Duplicate this layer again and increase the high pass, overdoing the effect a little. Name this layer Inner Sharpening. Duplicate this layer again and increase the high pass even more. Look at the areas out of focus and try to sharpen them this way. Name this layer Outer Sharpening. Change its blend mode to soft light and lower the opacity to about 50%. Add a layer mask to both of these layers and fill them with black using the Paint Bucket tool. This will make these layers invisible. Stop recording. This is the end of the automatic stage and the rest needs to be done manually. First, select the layer mask of the inner sharpening layer and take the soft round brush. Paint with white over the areas that you want to sharpen even more by revealing parts of the invisible sharpened layer. Do the same with the outer sharpening layer, this time painting over the area out of focus to make it less blurry. Now feel free to adjust the sliders of the previously applied filters to make the effect stronger or more subtle. You can also change the opacity to quickly make the effect weaker or duplicate a layer to make it stronger. Test your end result on various levels of zoom. If you need your image to look good in its highest resolution, you can do one more thing. 
Select the top layer and press Ctrl, Shift, Alt, E to create a merged layer. Then go to Filter, Noise, Reduce Noise. Experiment with these settings. Try to achieve the balance between blurring out the noise and losing the details. Hold the Alt key and drag the layer mask from the inner sharpening layer to the current layer. Then invert it with Ctrl I. This will exclude the most important details from this effect. And that would be all. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. Also, click the bell icon to be notified of new videos on the Envato Tats Plus channel. This was Monika Zagrobelna for Envato Tats Plus. Thanks for watching!